<laughs> you know, I do want to, I want to go uh, and talk about how you and Jen are connected. And I'm curious how that type of, you talk about working from home. Like it's one thing to work from home. If you have a accounting job or you're a lawyer or you're a broadcaster, but when you're an actor on a top rated <laughs> show, how does that work? So explain Jen, if you want to, how you guys are connected. Cause I think a lot of people don't realize that Jen's related to somebody that they watch every week. Yeah, so my brother, Matt Hobby, stars with Melissa on Young Sheldon. So he plays Pastor Jeff on the he, show. He doesn't just play him. He embodies <laughs> him. He is so good. I mean, he's a, such a great, talented actor. But Pastor Jeff, I just love him so much. And I finally got one. Well, we had a couple scenes, but we got to do a fast walk together. And it was just my favorite thing. I'm sorry, I interrupt you. I just love him. He's so good. He's so I'm so glad. I'm so excited. Well, yeah. And that's when we launched the Frenzy podcast. And I was telling my brother about it. And he's like, you have to book Melissa. She's amazing. And we were just talking on set. So um, so that's how the whole connection happened. But tell us about working on Young Sheldon during the pandemic. You guys had to get tested like crazy. Like, how did mm -hmm. you make it happen? Uh, well, I have to first off give it up to our, the entire production team and our the COVID, the healthcare work, everyone. They, they had it down. I mean, the thing, the great thing about production is they're used to, well, we can create a, in, you know, we can create a, um, a high school in the middle of a soundstage. Like they, they can make things happen quickly and they can, they can do that when they have the parameters. And so the learning curve I felt was actually pretty, pretty short on as far as production was like they had it set up where we had drive through testing. So I felt safer, frankly, working on a set than I did going to a grocery store. Wow. I felt very protected. They were very, because there's a hundred and as you know, as um, Matt would say, it's, it's not the eight people or how many watch, watching a TV show. There's like 150 people. So they have to keep them all safe. Right. And, and frankly, everyone was so grateful to be back at work that nobody, I don't think was taking unnecessary risk. Like you didn't want to be the guy that's like, huh, well, I decided to, I got a group on for a party bus. So I went on it this weekend. And, you know, so everyone I think was very respectful about trying to, even though you can't always control it, right? Like you can't, sometimes it happens, but I loved it. And, and for me, just getting um, outside of the house and being there, I was so excited and grateful, but I, I will, I do remember my first scene back after having a long period of, you know, just being at home, I remember doing the scene and thinking, why does my voice sound so weird? Am I talking normal? Like it felt, I felt very rusty. Um, but the good news is that set is such a welcoming and wonderful, warm place to be that, you know, I was like, is this how Brenda talks? Like I couldn't remember <laughs> <laughs> how things happen. So for me, it was a respite. Just you were, it was so lovely to be there with, uh, with those people, the, the cast and crew. So I was grateful every time Brenda got to come and play and get me out of this house. So it was great.